Welcome to Serve News. Thank you for joining us for a critical analysis of the Canadian government's decision to appeal a recent court ruling regarding the use of the Emergencies Act. The government expressed its intention to appeal, citing obviously the severity of the situation uh, due to national security and public safety and now economic security. However, there are important concerns and questions that need to be addressed. We have discussed it with the Prime Minister, with Cabinet colleagues, with senior federal government officials and experts. We respect very much Canada's independent judiciary. However, we do not agree with this decision and respectfully we will be appealing it. I would just like to take a moment to remind Canadians of how serious the situation was in our country when we took that decision. The public safety of Canadians was under threat. Our national security, which includes our national economic security, was under threat. It was a hard decision to take. We took it very seriously after a lot of hard work, after a lot of careful deliberation. We were convinced at the time, I was convinced at the time, it was the right thing to do. It was the necessary thing to do. I remain and we remain convinced of that and I'll now turn it over to my colleague the Minister of Justice and then we'll hear from my colleague the Minister of Public Safety. Arif over to you. Let's begin by discussing the seriousness of the situation, the government's emphasis, the threats to public safety, national security and economic security that led to the invocation of the Emergencies Act. While these concerns are undoubtedly important, it's crucial to evaluate whether the government's actions were proportionate and justifiable based on these videos exactly. One significant point of contention is the discrepancy between this decision and a previous investigation by a court appeal of justice, which found the government's decision reasonable by Justice Rula. This raises questions about the consistency and clarity of Trudeau and the government's actions. Thank you, Christia. Just to build on what uh, Minister Freeland was mentioning, uh, the uh, court decision, uh, we've received the judgment. Uh, we've done a preliminary review of the judgment. Uh, the judgment finds in certain respects that the decisions of the uh, government uh, were valid and within, were within constitutional parameters. In other respects, it finds it was not. Um, upon reviewing that decision, we obviously reiterate the respect for the judicial process that Minister Freeland has just mentioned. But a fundamental aspect of the judicial process is also proceeding on an appeal. And after that consultation with the Prime Minister, with Cabinet colleagues, we've uh, taken the decision that we'll, we, we will be proceeding on an appeal, as is within our rights within ju the judicial system. So I'll turn to Minister LeBlanc to just outline where we were two years ago when the significant decision to protect Canadians was taken by the government of Canada. Dominic? Two years ago, the government invoked the Emergencies Act, citing risks at border crossing, economic impacts, and national security concerns. It's crucial to revisit this context to assess whether the government's response was proportional and whether the situation warranted such extraordinary measures. And another video of a border crossing. It wasn't that many people there at that time, but there was previously. And we must consider the impact on civil civil liberties as well, while the government acknowledges the weight of its decisions. I think it's important to remember the context almost two years ago uh, today. Uh, those weeks uh, in late January and February two years ago, 
uh, the public safety and the national security context. Uh, I was in Ottawa during those weeks, uh, as were my colleagues. I participated in the cabinet discussions. We were updated by senior officials about the risks of uh, copycat incidents at other border crossings. I spoke to premiers from British Columbia to Nova Scotia about risks uh, to their uh, community safety. Uh, we saw border crossings and the damage to the Canadian economy, thousands of jobs put at risk. We spoke with the Premier of Ontario and the Government of Ontario that supported the invocation of the Emergencies Act two years ago. I think that's an important moment. I think it's also important to consider the government was given information uh, with respect to the disruption at the border crossing in Coots, Alberta. Uh, it's not banal when the security services tell you that they found two pipe bombs and 36,000 rounds of munition uh, and ended up laying criminal charges as serious uh, as conspiracy to commit murder uh, and assaulting peace officers. So, the context is important. I think it's also important to note that the House of Commons ratified the decision to invoke. Um, but as my colleague said, uh, the judicial system uh, also includes uh, appeal mechanisms, and the government's made that decision. But uh, I certainly, as a minister who participated in those discussions and who spoke to premiers across the country, uh, am very satisfied that we made a reasonable decision. Uh, and we'll now let the appeal courts uh, consider uh, the filings from my colleagues. It's crucial to assess whether these actions were truly reasonable and whether they had a lasting consequence on our civil liberties in Canada. If, if, I, if I could just add one one thing in terms of the uh, j judicial decision that was rendered today, we also know that uh, a member of the Court of Appeal, Justice Rulo, conducted a very public, comprehensive, and transparent investigation into the reasonableness of the government's decision. That decision stands at odds with the decision that was rendered today. I think that is important and that also informs our decision and our basis upon which we will proceed to an appeal. The decision seems to single out some of your choices on freezing bank accounts and credit cards as being part of the reason where it's unreasonable in terms of the measures taken by the government. You defended those when you announced them at the time. Do you have any regrets on, on taking that measure in the light of this decision? Would you have done it differently uh, based on what uh, we've seen from the federal court today? Uh, as I said in my opening remarks, we faced as a country and as a government an incredibly serious threat, a threat to the public safety of many Canadians, a threat to our national security including our national economic security. We acted to secure and protect Canada and to secure and protect the national interest. It was not an easy time. These were not easy decisions. In making our decisions and choosing to act, we worked very, very hard with all levels of government. And we were very mindful of acting in such a way that the safety, the physical safety of all Canadians involved would be preserved. We, I don't want to minimize the gravity of the actions we took Neither do I want to minimize the gravity of the threat Canada faced. And to your question, I was certain after a lot of deliberation with colleagues and many others that we took the right decision. I was certain at the time. I was certain when I testified before Rouleau and I remain certain today. Thank you. We must ask whether the there are alternative methods, alternative methods that could have achieved the same goals without compromising those civil liberties. In conclusion, the Canadian government's decision to appeal the recent court ruling regarding the use of the Emergencies Act raises important questions about the balance between security and civil liberties. While we understand the gravity of the situation that led to the invocation. It is our duty as citizens to critically 
examine the government's actions and ensure that they are proportionate and justifiable. We always will continue to follow this closely and will provide updates as it develops. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to tell me your opinion on this matter down below and like the video.